There are new details about a sea lion that popped up on a man's boat at the San Diego Yacht Club early yesterday morning. It had an orange tag, and that orange tag means that it was likely rescued by SeaWorld. The 10 News reporter Hannah Mullen spoke to a rescue worker about why watching the video was a big relief. Here's the thing, rescue workers avoid handling them as much as possible, but sometimes they come in so hurt or so hungry, they have to do things like feed them to make them better. Hey, you gotta go. The secret's out. This little guy is a snorer. Michael Duffy thought he heard it, but went back to sleep. A few hours later, the pup was sawing away again. And the sea lion was curled up in a little ball, just like a dog. SeaWorld rescue worker Keith Yip said it's easy for them to board a boat. Even better, you leave your cabin door open, there's some nice cushy cushions there. He said it was a no-brainer. Interestingly, the pup wasn't after food. They've rescued nearly 800 mammals so far this year, and most have been sea lions that had trouble finding food. It's hard. It's hard, especially uh, being a local boy. He spent nearly 30 years caring for animals at SeaWorld. Over the years, we've really kind of structured our program, basically dissociating humans from food. At first, they have to stitch them up or pump them with nutrients. Once out of critical care, they feed them fish and track who's ready for the next stage. We are very discreet in the latter stages of rehabilitation. I'd normally show you that, but people can't come and go here. They just toss fish over the side to get them ready for release. But the snorer seemed healthy, maybe a little annoyed. It was kind of like a dog. If you woke up a dog and the dog went, but he headed home on his own. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. And Hannah also says there have been about 2% more restrandings, likely because they've rescued so many more, but those are down from a dozen or two each day. A 10 News viewer alerted us to this story. If you have a story you'd like us to check out as well, just email us at tips at 10news.com.